In 2021, I purchased what I considered to be the absolute best desktop case for the Raspberry Pi 4, which had come out just a few weeks before. It's the Argon One case. The beauty of it is that all of the uh, access ports are on the back. For a desktop setup, that's perfect. It matches up with my M1 Mac very nicely. Uh, but even before that, it was an ideal case. But ho oh and behold, we have a new case. The Argon One M.2 case. Carries on the tradition of the Argon One, but it adds an M.2 SSD that you can add to the bottom inside the case. It still has all of the features that the original case does. Plus, it instead of having to purchase micro HDMI cable adapters, you can plug in a full-size HDMI cable. If you're putting in a new Raspberry Pi 4, or perhaps you're just starting out and this is your first case, I would by all means buy this case. The cost of the adapter cables more than covers the difference between the original Argon 1 case and this one with the M.2 slot. And as I said, it has all the other connectors that you would find on a regular Raspberry Pi case, along with a thermostatically controlled fan, its heat sinks that are part of the case, so the case does get a little bit warm. But for those of us that, are, that have an Argon 1 case, we got it all set up and we like the way it works, and we'd like to get rid of that little SSD that's sitting under it, the add-on is actually just a replacement for the bottom of the Argon One case that we already have. Uh, when I ordered mine, it came all the way from China. It took almost a month. But now that Amazon is carrying it for the same price as I ordered mine, plus $7 shipping or something like that, $6, uh, it's a good deal. So I would suggest that you get yours directly from Amazon if you have an Argon One case. But listen on because there are some things that are going to be a little bit different. You're going to give up a couple of, you're going to give up some one thing. I don't know if it's going to be significant to you, but watch on. Essentially all you get is the bottom, the uh, dongle to connect the USB ports into the SSD at the bottom, this manual, which is absolutely worthless because you don't need any of it. You're not building the entire case. And you get some new rubber feet and some new screws to attach it to your uh, existing uh, Argon One case. So once you have it all unpackaged and un un <laughs> unwrapped, unpeeled, it's nicely packaged, uh, you're just about ready to, to get started. Uh, so, like I said, you get the screws, you get the new rubber feet pads, and you get that dongle. And you can see it's just the same size. It's going to go right where that bottom case is now. And so, the, through the magic of photography, I'm going to be taking the bottom off and putting a new bottom. And here's our new case. First thing you got to do is take out the four bottom screws. They give you four screws and I used the new screws. I didn't really pay any attention to whether they were the same length or not. Uh, but I figured they gave me new screws I had to use them. Took me a little bit of doing here, but I have now taken off all of the screws and lifted off. Once you have the bottom off, then you're going to take your new case and you're going to attach it. But before you do that, of course, if you're going to put in an uh, M.2, I bought one here from Amazon. I went with 240 gigabytes, which is way too much, but uh, it wasn't that much more expensive than 120. On the theory that more is better, uh, through the magic of fast forward, <laughs> I put in the 240 gigabyte SSD slides in, can't put it in wrong. Uh, then I put it on the bottom of the case. 
with the new four screws. Put some new pads on the bottom and fitted it with the dongle. There it is, all ready to go. There is one thing you give up. If you look at the front of the case when you're all done, you'll notice there's no slot for the micro SD card. So when you're all done, you have a case, no micro SD card. Fortunately, I don't use micro SD cards anymore. If you're a new user to the Raspberry Pi, you might not know it, but in the beginning, the Raspberry Pi 4 would only boot from an SSD, a micro SSD card, that little slot in the front of the motherboard. Uh, but that has changed, and now you can boot them from USB devices, which are much faster, probably going to last longer. In my case, I've switched to the uh, external SSDs, and that was what was underneath my original. You'll see here now, this is my case all assembled, sitting next to my Mac Mini. It's sort of my mini mini Mac Mini. And it's running a Raspbian. And I'm going to be starting it up and I'm going to walk you through the steps of copying your operating system from the device that it was on to your new uh, my M.2 SSD. Here we are on the desktop and ready to <coughs> go down and choose disk copier. When you do that, you're going to choose the hard drive you're copying from and the hard drive you're copying to. In my case, it was a little confusing because they're both Kingston, but the bigger one is what I'm copying to. So I made sure I was going the right direction. And then I collect that box because it's brand new hard drive and I want to make sure all the partitions and everything are set up. And then I started copying. We'll fast forward through that part. It did take a while and it'll depend on how much stuff you have installed on your drive you're copying from. But here we are booted up in the uh, new desktop and you'll notice it looks a whole lot like the old desktop. If there's anything in particular that you would like to see, please let me know in the notes below. And if you like this video, please like. And if you'd like to see more videos on the Raspberry Pi, uh, Macintosh, Windows, Linux, running ham radio programs, I'll be having future videos showing you how to set up this Raspberry Pi to run all of your ham radio software. Also be making them for the Macintosh and Windows and Linux because I have all four operating systems on my desktop and enjoy playing with them. So have a good day and 73s and hope to see you in a future video.